Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have three minus three minus x at the base, and at the guitar, I mean in the exponent, we have three x minus five divided by three minus x, and it's equal to one. And we're going to be solving for x values. So this is a pretty interesting exponential equation because we have three minus x in two places, which can be pretty interesting. And then second, we have a rational exponent. Great, so let's go ahead and take a look at an equation like this. First, we can go ahead and explore real solutions. And then if you have some time left, or if I don't forget about it, then we can also look a little bit into complex solutions. Even though this channel is not dedicated to complex numbers, because this is cyber math, in case you didn't know. And I have another channel called A plus BI, that is completely dedicated to complex numbers. So go ahead and check it out and let me know what you think. So in this equation, we're gonna be looking at different cases. First for real solutions, okay? So whenever we have something like a to the b equals one, where a and b are real numbers, we can kind of think about three different scenarios. First scenario is where b is equal to zero. That means any number to the power zero is one, right? I know some people are gonna object saying that zero to the power zero does not equal one. Well, too bad, it is equal to one. And if you wanna know why, go ahead and check out my video. It's in the description and I'll also try to link it down here. Second scenario is gonna be where B A is equal to one and we don't really care about B because once the base is one, the answer is always one, right? At least in the real world. The third case is a equals negative one and there needs to be an and not or, b is even. Both of those have to happen because if you raise negative one to an odd power, you get negative one. If you raise negative one to an even power, you get positive one. So to get positive one, you need an even exponent. We're talking about the evenness of a rational fraction, whatever. And so we're gonna go ahead and look into that. So we have those three cases. Let's go ahead and take a look at each one. If B is equal to zero, by the way, let me copy the equation here so you can kind of see what A and B are. Okay, this is my expression. And in this case, B is the exponent. So we want three X minus five divided by three minus X to be zero. What does this mean? This means that X, three X minus five should be zero. And of course, three minus X should not be zero. Why? Because if there could be a value of x in some cases where uh, it makes the denominator and the numerator zero at the same time, and you don't want that, because that'll give you zero over zero, which is not one, obviously, and there's no arguing that because it's definitely, definitely indeterminate, or some people call it undefined, but I will call it indeterminate, okay? Now, from here, we get x equals 5 thirds, but for x equals 5 thirds, this is not going to be 0, so we don't have an issue. Houston, we don't have a problem. We have a solution. So x equals 5 thirds is a valid solution. Oh, by the way, did I tell you? I'm going to show you a graph at the end, okay? Hopefully, I won't forget. Sometimes I do. Anyways, number two. What is case number two? A is equal to 1. A is the base, remember? So three minus X equals one. We don't really need any other requirements. And this means X is equal to two. Perfectly valid solution because if you have one at the base, you're good, right? Okay. Number three, we're gonna be looking at the exponent, but first the base, we want the base to be negative one and we want the exponent, oops, supposed to be, 3x minus 5 divided by 3 minus x. We want this to be even. Can that happen? Now, looking at this first, it's going to be pretty hard because, I mean, this can be even for a number of values. We can set it equal to 2n, try to solve for x, but there's no need because we have a really nice value here, which is, which may or may not work. Well, let's go ahead and check it out. So if 3 minus x is equal to negative 1, that means x equals 4, right? Well, for x equals 4, is this even? 
That's the question we need to ask. I don't think I need to write that again. So question mark, question mark, question mark. Let's find out by substitution. 3 times 4 minus 5 divided by 3 minus 4. 3 times 4 is 12. I was going to say 7, but that's 12 minus 5. And 3 minus 4 is negative 1. And 7 divided by negative 1 is negative 7. Uh-oh, negative 7 is not even. So x equals 4 is not valid. Case number 3 does not give us anything. Make sense? It's, it's not a solution. We don't care, right? So those are the two solutions that we found so far. Are there any other ones? Let's go ahead and look at some complex possibilities before we get into the second method. Am I going to show you a second method? Yes. Did I forget to say that? Probably. So this is our base. The exponent is a rational function again. And here's what I'm going to look at. Well, this can be 1, right? When the base is negative 1, but for base is negative 1, the exponent was an odd integer, so that didn't work. Is it possible that this can be written as e to the power 2 pi and i, so that we can get something like that at the base, and the exponent can be that. In other words, what am I talking about? I'm basically saying that is it possible for 3 minus x to be e, and 3x minus 5 over 3 minus x to be 2 pi and i? And the answer is no. Because for whichever n values you try, this is not going to work. But isn't there another way to approach it? Like maybe you take a number and raise it to a power and you get 1. Okay, let's think about it. Maybe we can think about roots of 1, right? For example, this can be a 1. And then this can be a rational number. But we know that if this is 1, then x is 2. So I don't think there is any complex solutions. I could be totally wrong, though. Correct me if I'm wrong, but as, as far as I can see, there seems to be no complex solutions. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Now, one more time, the equation is 3 minus x to the power 3x minus 5 divided by 3 minus x equals 1. Now, my second method is actually going to involve using logarithms because... Why not, right? Let's go ahead and log both sides with the natural log because natural log is the coolest one. If you want to use parentheses, that's fine. I don't care. But we're going to go ahead and move this guy to the front because that's the properties of logs. And then ln1 in the real world is zero. Why do I keep saying real world? Because in the complex world, ln1 is 2 pi and i, as you can imagine, right? So in this case, we are going to be looking at two things. Either this can be 0 or this can be 0. This means x is equal to 5 thirds, which we already talked about. If ln 3 minus x is 0, that means ln 3 minus x is ln 1, which means 3 minus x equals 1, which means x equals 2. And again, we found those before. So let's go ahead and take a look at the graph from Wolfram Alpha, which hopefully is going to agree with what we found, right? We found two solutions. Ta -da -da -da. As you can see here, we have the exact same two solutions that are solutions to this equation, whatever that means. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time in another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.